Greetings, children. Today I want to elaborate a bit on how glorious I am. No, not really. I want to quickly elaborate on how to avoid and resist temptations. And now this is mainly geared towards, you know, the fitness side of things. Uh, you want to get shredded, you want to get in shape, mean and lean for whatever reason. And then obviously you can't eat as much of anything you would like. You can eat whatever you want in moderation, but it never ends in moderation. Like there are few people who can actually, when they are at a caloric deficit and has been so for a long time, they can eat just in moderation of something they really, really like. So then in some cases it, it can be better to avoid it altogether. So the easiest thing is in that word avoid. It is not resist per se, because if you are face to face with a temptation and now this can be whatever whatever in life really it can be sweets food women alcohol you know whatever your weakness might be mine is obviously pastries and uh, you know good foods like that i could eat a kilo of rule torta i would still want more like and for some guys it's alcohol they can't go out with their with the lads and just you know keep it in moderation they they binge on alcohol so what you have to do is don't put yourself in a situation where those kind of temptations can arise so for me, if I'm like I'm now uh, a few days out from a photo shoot, uh, there is just not any benefit for me to surround myself with cookies and rule tortas because I will feel the temptation and it will not feel anything. It won't feel good at all. Now, obviously, if I know it's only a few days, I will resist. But say it's a month out or something, and you need to keep, you know, the the meal plan that you have set out for yourself. Then the best thing is to do not surround yourself, do not even see the temptations, imagine that they're not even there. Because when you come face to face with it, it can be really, really hard to resist. And I actually understand a lot of fat people that say they can't lose weight. Now, that is because if they've been cutting and their mind telling them like, oh, what's happening now? Let's look at the possibility of regaining some fat so we can survive winter or whatever. And the mind and the body tells them to, to binge on something they really like. They have this trigger food that they really want to eat a lot of. And you know, it's really common for people to go on binges. So to avoid that, just you don't have to resist, you just have to avoid it altogether. So if you're walking out and about in life and suddenly a wild cake or a rule torta appears, you just take a long fucking detour around it. Or if you are or if the lads are going out for drinks or whatever, then you say like, okay, cool, you know what, I'm just gonna avoid this altogether so that I don't end up binge drinking. So the, the point is not to set yourself in front of a cake and be like, oh, you know, I have such a strong willpower and I'm gonna resist eating this. In some cases, if there's a family dinner, I mean, obviously go to the family dinner, but sometimes it might be prudent to, to say like, okay, cool, I can't eat this. And then you have to exercise some willpower, that's not hard. But if it is all the time, sooner or later you will, you will probably fall. So then the best thing is to just try to avoid it. Now I'm not saying that you should go around in life just not, not looking at other things because that could lead you into temptation. But we're talking about two weeks or one week before you have to be in good shape. Then it can be better for you to not expose yourself to said temptations. And as I said, it can be applied to anything in life really. If you know that you have a hard time resisting something avoid it altogether in the first place and then you won't come face to face with that uh, temptation. I did last summer a thing that I'm a bit ashamed of actually. <laughs> there was cookies worth of 900 calories which I ate for pre-workout but it's 900 calories that's quite fucking much so in retrospect I obviously should not have done that but that's just you know my willpower cracked there and I couldn't help myself I just ate those cookies. Now I still got in shape but it it didn't do myself any favors and I could have avoided that by not being in a place where there was 900 fucking calories worth of cookies. So yeah, that's basically my best idea there, my best advice for resisting temptations. Avoid them altogether for a certain period of time. Like I'm not saying that you should do it, make a lifestyle out of it, but one or two months during the summer it's not the whole world and i mean you shouldn't base your life quality on eating or drinking or etc i mean you, you have to find value in life in other aspects than such base things so uh, it might sound a bit fanatic but if you think about it it's not really 
if you, on the other hand, base your happiness upon eating, then you might actually have a problem for real that you need to deal with. But yeah, so that's all I have to say that today, so what I'm doing right now, my plan is just, you know, I don't buy any sort of high calorie food so that I might be saturated all the time and then I occupy my, my, my mind with other things to keep um, the cravings at bay. So yeah, hope that helps. And who am I? It's a secret I'll never tell, XXO.